There has been a mild age-long dispute among royalists as to who came first, the Oba stool or the Oni stool. There are different views and historical research that has so flooded the media that it has only increased the confusion between these tools. So far, it has moved from being based on historical truth and now more about ethnic bias and polarity. How a lack of Egba land worsened the age-long issue. So, on this fateful day in February 2016, the Oba of land, the highest tool in Abekuta, while receiving the Oni of Ife, declared a ranking of Obas in Yoruba land that was rather absurd. In his, rem- in his ranking, he listed Oni as number one, the Alafi of Oyo as number two. The guess w- and guess what? The Oba of Bini was placed at number three, with Yalake himself at number four. This was met with sharp reaction from the Bini tradition stool. Is Oba a Yoruba title? First of all, Oba of Bini has nothing to do with Yoruba land. In fact, the classification is unnecessary. It simply is to stir up unnecessary controversy. The word Oba is alien to Yoruba land from time immemorial. The Oba of Lagos is a recent addition to the title. In the 50s, this traditional stool was called Eleko of Eko Ibadan as Olu Abekuta as Alake or Yo as Alafin. In 1942, the Western Regional Conference of Traditional Rulers held in Beni City. At the meeting, there was no other monarch in the Western region that bore the title Oba except the Oba of Benin. By Beni traditional history, Oni was a son of Oba in the era of the Ogisus. He wandered off to another land and became a ruler there, but he took with him core aspects of his monarchical practices and systems. Suffice me to say that every Yoruba Oba suffice added to their titles only came after 1942. Hmm. Wow, this is a very short uh, history and with what we are hearing that the Oba of Beni, according to the Alake of Egba land, as it was in the case, saying the Oba of Beni is a number four. And most of the Oba of Benin has been there, the title has been there, but according to what this writer is saying here, that the Yoruba, uh, the Oba, the Yoruba land or the Yoruba monarch started adding the title Oba after 1942 i don't know how truth this is but that's what we have now i don't know what you have about it whether you have a different opinion on this uh, matter that's being brought that uh, who is the superior who is really superior among all this a uh, oba wow who is now more superior that is what we need to get let's hear what people are saying for those who know tradition let's hear their own version of the story Someone believes here that a uh, Oba of Benin, Benin are not indigenous from Yoruba, or rather the Yoruba indigenous from Edo, but far back, hmm, 0012th century, Egisu, Egisu is the king of Benin. His first son migrated to Ileife and became their leader after so many years, when it's necessary for him to replace his late father throne, Ogisu, he was sent to come and take his father's throne as a first son back then but instead he chose one of his son to go uh, to Benin kingdom and take over because it is late and too old of him to be to return home Edo and rule as their king that was why Odudua sent his son to Edo to take over his late father's throne okay thank you if you have a contrary or doubt uh, that's about this. Let's hear your opinion. Someone says, "How can an alien migrate, migrate, migrate to another land and be their and be their leader?" I learned that all Yoruba, the young, all the young kings migrated from. Okay, a land that all the Yoruba kings migrated from. A land that has many states in Nigeria and overseas, and overseas that speak its language. How dominant is Bini language spoken around the world? was the population of the Benins compared to that of Yoruba. Omo Abeg, think well. Okay, you are a doubting Thomas. 
Yoruba historians were the people who obtained the history of Prince Ekaladera of Benin, known as Ududua. Yoruba are the one distorting the history. Okay, very correct history. For those still in doubt, please study the history of Benin very well. It is not only in Benin archives, but also in England and Portugal. If the Yoruba refuse to accept this truth, can they also change the one in European records? Of course, no. So this uh, has not stopped. What can a so-called Supreme of Oba, Oba of Benin do in Yoruba land? Let him come and give order and wait to see if such will be obeyed. Even by the lowest Yoruba man, same goes for the Oni, who is also has no authority over any Benin man. So where lies the supremacy on both sides? Also, under the present system of governance, some show me the position of the monarchs except for tradition. They cannot give any governor any instruction and such will be binding. Please spare me all this uh, story of uh, imaginary supremacy. That's what somebody believes. Uh, hmm, you are too much. Please, the Yoruba should answer this question. Why only all pay or always pay homage to Oba of Benin? Okay, read the short history of Benin written by Chief Jacob Jacob Era River in 13, 1936. You will be adequately guided. Too late to review because of Edo Ego. We are still waiting for the head of Eredua at Orun Oba Adu in Ife. Everyone is in his kingdom. I totally agree with you. As children in Benin, we were told the story of a, a Kaladaran who was Ogiso's son, who wandered away to Ife. As a matter of fact, Ile Ife has, has been a pronunciation. However, he met some people there and ruled over them. When the Ogiso died, the people of Beni sent for him because the Ogiso had no other male child. He couldn't go but sent his son, Oromiyo, who also has a Beni pronunciation. The Oba of Beni came first. Hmm. If the supremacy wall will bring Nigeria out of the trouble in the country now, then fight over it till the war is won. But if it is efforts in futility because the two monarchs love and respect each other, then your writers and supporters of these evil schemes should stop it. There are many bony issues in the land and that region beyond and this is all. I don't know what this person is trying to say here. Okay. All what I know is that Oba Obeni King in Yoruba language is not Benin language. It's Oje in Benin language. Iku means death in Yoruba language. So, Okpolokbo, which translates to Okpolokbo in Benin because they make use of Okbo. Whatever way the writer twists it, we are not, we are not facts. You can call a child Omonoba. Meaning, this child is a king as his title, and you will be argue, you will still be arguing it. Pause and think and ask why Yoruba say Omonoba Nedo. This prince is a king. Hmm. Why not pronounce the title in Yoruba language? Why not Edo language? All these questions are looking for answer. Who say Omonoba Nedo? Who say that to who? On what occasion, in which circumstances did title form? Before you jumped into conclusion, trying to answer all these questions, when some of the chieftaincy titles pro no use in Yoruba, not used in Yoruba language, how do they come to that? As some of them are family titles, they might have migrated from somewhere. Hmm. Why have a those be why are I do be Yoruba name? Why do they be Yoruba names? Okay. That's uh, a question that somebody is really putting up, uh, is putting on out there. And someone says, uh, could we not, God will not forgive the writer for writing all the, of these things. A lucky statement clearly displayed his chronic malaria inherited from his mil uh, military forage. Okay, when he was giving number, number and positions to Yoruba, Obas, including himself, where is uh, Orogun of Ila? I think he has to be san sanctioned and sent to Traditional isolation for traditional education. My homage leave that alone is not issue. 
Okay, Mr. Homage, leave that alone. That is not issue because Bini also pay homage in a Ugbo land. Okay. There are so many versions relating to this seniority issue. So what do you think? Leave your comments below and let's have your take.